Hello. Insults have been getting more and more uninventive the more we use the F word and other four letter words. Now I'm going to go take us back a little bit in time and read you some insults when the language was a bit purer. Here's one from the English Parliament from Victorian times. A member of Parliament says to the Prime Minister of the time, the Israeli, Sir, you will either die on the gallows or of some unspeakable disease. The Israeli responds, that depends, sir, whether I embrace your politics or your mistress. More succinct one from Walter Carr, he had delusions of adequacy. And here's one from Churchill, he has all the virtues I dislike and none of the vices I admire. Clarence Darrow, I have never killed a man, but I have read many obituaries with great pleasure. And William Faulkner, about Ernest Hemingway, he has never been known to use a word that might send a reader to a dictionary. Moses Haydas, thank you for sending me a copy of your book. I will waste no time reading it. Mark Twain, I didn't attend the funeral, but I sent a nice letter saying I approved of it. Oscar Wilde, he has no enemies but is intensely disliked by his friends. Here's a little exchange between George Bernard Shaw and Winston Churchill. George Bernard Shaw says, having uh, in, in a letter, I'm enclosing two tickets to the first night of my new play. Bring a friend if you have one. Winston responds, cannot possibly attend first night. Will attend second if there is one. Stephen Bishop, I feel so miserable without you. It's almost like having you here. John Bright, he's a self-made man and worships his creator. Irvin S. Cobb, I have just learned about his illness. Let's hope it's nothing trivial. Samuel Johnson, He's not only dull himself, he is the cause of dullness in others. Paul Keating, he is simply a shiver looking for a spine to run up. The Count of Talleyrand, Charles, in order to avoid being called a flirt, she always yielded easily. Forrest Tucker, he loves nature in spite of what it did to him. Mark Twain again. Why do you sit there looking like an envelope without any address on it? The lovely Mae West. His mother should have thrown him away and kept the stork. Oscar Wilde, our favorite again. Some cause happiness wherever they go. Others, whenever they go. Andrew Lang from 1844. He uses statistics as a drunken man uses lampposts for support rather than illumination. The lovely Billy Wilder, Hollywood director. He has Van Gogh's ear for music. I guess he means the one that was cut off. And finally one from the always inventive and funny Groucho Marx. I've had a perfectly wonderful evening, but this wasn't it. Just a few samples. Thank you.